Okay, Mavia dos Anjos, in India, we have a saying in our uh, national language Hindi, Der I Durustai. If I could translate that, it says they came late, but they still came. That must be a lot of relief, those last seven minutes of that match. Sorry, I didn't get the translation. Uh, I said, the line was yes, Der I Durustai in Hindi means uh, they came late, but they still came. Yeah. Yeah, here we say, O uh, chimitada mas não falha. Okay, translate that. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, uh, it, get, it, it's, it gets late, but it arrives. Uh, it, it doesn't fail. <laughs> uh, it's, it's how... Uh, actually, we, we, we talk a, a lot about this uh, regarding justice. Ju justice gets late, but it never fails. It's, well, it's yes. optimistic. Yes, three points yeah. in, in the bag, but big relief, Matty Holland. Big relief for them because uh, they could have got frustrated, but they kept pegging away knowing that they just needed that one chance. And, and that's what is the takeaway, that this side didn't get frustrated, perhaps like Argentina did. Yeah, I mean, of course, the possession, you know, in the game it was 70-30 more or less, you know, 20 shots, 10 on target, 10 off, uh, a couple of blocks and a, and a woodwork from Gabriel Jesus. So I think it was only a matter of time coming. Uh, we spoke briefly about it last night also, and in the end, you know, it, it would look quite comfortable for Brazil, which at 2-0, it certainly was. Uh, how, do you, how do you guys look at this uh, result <clears throat> in, in Brazil? Because obviously that first draw would be something would have been very disappointing for you, Mavio. But uh, this one, relief, or is it uh, the beginning of the march to that sixth title? Yeah, I guess it, it, it's half-half. Uh, half. You know, we can see that, that there's a relief that we can see... Uh, we see our team scoring again, and we, we found we, we met a very a big stronghold in Costa Rica. They they really did, done a great job defending, but we needed that. We needed a good victory, a good triumph to 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 march to the to the to this campaign for the sixth title if uh, if it happens. And uh, there's a relief here. There's also some criticizing over Neymar because uh, uh, at the end of the game. He, he, he started to cry or, or make gestures as he was crying. And it kind of, it kind of uh, seems uh, like he's trying to get all the, all the spotlight for him. Uh, and however, we see this victory as a very collective victory. Uh, Brazil did a, uh, did a great job uh, working together. Chichi was, Chichi was very uh, smart in putting Douglas Costa. He, 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 he improved a lot our right flank, and now and we have seen a team more fluid. Even though there were obstacles, there were yes. uh, many difficulties because Costa Rica is, is a very good uh, defending team. Yes, uh, fluid. I think that's the right word. And, and when you look at the way this Brazil side played, you would think that going into the bigger matches against the bigger team, they would score much, much more goals. And they just virtually laid siege to that Costa Rican goal. And, uh, and it was just a matter of time, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, you know, when you look at the quality of the, the front players, you know, Neymar especially, Douglas Costa had a fantastic game, you know, when he came in for William. Um, you know, they didn't seem to, to not want to create. You know, there was always something moving. Marcelo very, very high on the left flank, always supporting, as he does for his club also. So, uh, for me, it was definitely never any doubt. It was just a matter of time. Yes, and as he was saying, spotlight on uh, Neymar, but Neymar loves the spotlight and... Uh, uh, that goal came at a crucial point because they were starting to get frustrated. There were a few tackles, a lot of talk happening, some yellow cards also, one for Neymar as well, needlessly. I mean, you know, it was difficult to play against against Costa Rica. You know, they sat in, we'll, we'll take a little look on the board later, but, you know, they sat in very, very deep. So the combinations and the rotations of the midfield, Coutinho is very well balanced, as we know. He can pick forward passes and he can slide it in. Okay, Mavio, uh, quickly, how important, you know, you spoke about Neymar being a diva, but we're used to that. When the most expensive player in the world, upwards of 200 million is your price, you can be a bit of a diva. This is not Argentina, this is Brazil. But uh, how important for him was that goal which he got with the last kick of the game? For, for Neymar, you say? Yeah. Yeah, for Neymar, it was a great goal. It, it, it is the beginning of his his story of in, in this World Cup. He needed that so much. I believe that he played far better than the first match because 
he, he was not that individualistic. He, he tried to, to, to make passes. He, he, he looked for his, his uh, colleagues. And uh, for him, it's very good. It, it, it enhances his confidence. Okay, Brazil get up and running. They have their first victory. The fans are happy. You can see the look on Mario Dos Anjos' face. He's happy as well.